Mmm. Comfy. Comfy is always gonna be, like, at least, like, somewhat good here. And we're playing up against an Eivor, though, but, like, Rampy is, like, the worst faction, and Comfy is, like, the best faction, so it might actually be that this is playable. Uh, despite the seemingly bad matchup here that we are presented with. We also have a Skull Helmet here. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's play this. Can this day get any better? I know, right? Oh, we have Luna versus Morton. La Mal. That's quite the matchup, not gonna lie. What the fuck is this guy? Oh, you like war machines. La Mal. Uh, yep. Uh, do we... We have to pee. And we could pee right now, immediately. And then get ourselves a mage guild here. Uh, mage guild's on a comp theme. Ah. Oh. I see. Uh, anyway. Nerfed Luna. Oh, yes, nerfed Luna. Right. Well, but, like, fire! I feel like this will be a quick game. Uh, maybe. Our scrolls are gonna be, like, all the way over there. That's not that cool, but it's gonna be kind of a game. Am I collecting this knowledge? I think I am, and I'm gonna be picking up the ore here, too. Then, moving out of the bunker on the next day. Uh, it's almost like a day free leave, but like with zero moves, so... Basically like a day 5 leave. I mean day 4. I do get the dimension door in this turn, and I get the dimension door right into my comfy town here, actually. Um, yep. Exactly on the comfy town. Uh, how is it nerfed? Oh, the uh, Luna specialty has been like absolutely gutted, and now she doesn't do like what she used to do anymore. Oh, uh, we can have the Gamba be alive. Uh, yes. Do we need to use any control spells here? I mean, just, uh, any spells here? Nah. Uh, we go. We can pick up the army and go. Uh, yup, yup. Hey, Stasha. And yeah, the, uh, specialty is only increasing the fireball damage by 25%. Not by 100% anymore. And naturally, that is a massive, massive deal. And Luna has been nerfed uh, pretty severely like this, so she cannot do like Luna things anymore as much as she used to be able to. It's not even close. So yeah, we're beginning the game here. I'm not really sure what kind of strategy I'm going to be going for, whether it's going to be like Phoenix build up or Tempo or whatever. Mm. We will see. Oh nice, a for a change. Indeed. Uh, do we go Iron Magician? I don't have any woods. Okay. Okay, so I can actually just, like, fill out my skill tree here already, basically. This is definitely plus moves, and I definitely want this, actually. I can also fly over that one, for now. I mean, maybe we can still do Luna things. I mean, I see, like, great potential here. For example, the Nixus can be bullied by the Firewalls uh, pretty well. And also my stats will be pretty high pretty early. So I will refuse my ability to fly by just using my mana. Uh, that is part of the plan, so it's all good. I really hope I can actually reach my town here. I might be a little bit too greedy. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit too greedy. And I will not be able to reach it down next turn. I mean, this turn. Next turn, of course, is gonna be easy. Mm hmm. We're never going to be using a control scroll this or next turn anyway, so I may as well use the mana to, to make the fight a little bit, uh, better. Then maybe? If it doesn't have a guard, it does have a guard. Mm, 80 moves here. Well, I will still take the turn of building, I guess. Though, yeah, honestly not great here. I can just be collecting wood next turn. Uh, for now we're going to be building out the mage here, we couldn't have stepped inside, we were missing like two moon points. I got really greedy for this stuff. I mean, a little bit bad, but not too bad, so I'll just take it. Mm, 750 remaining. This would be 341 times 2, so that would be 700, 750. I can take wood or the outer, outer of air. I think I will actually take wood here in this case. And, uh, yeah. Just get back inside the town. I can already upgrade the air elementals. I mean, if I was playing Monero, I would probably be thinking twice about upgrading these, but uh, playing Luna... Makes it pretty easy of a decision to make. I'm also going to be going for some marketplaces here early on, especially because I don't have a lot of wood. So I feel like that's going to be like a big, big benefit to what I'm doing here. Why didn't you take the boss? Because I was still hoping that I can reach the town on this turn. Um, that's why. 
And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna be going for the box, but I think I might be just going like this. Ah. Minus 280 moves. Uh, that's painful. That will probably cost... Well, I'm not sure if I was going for that. Hmm. Could have been done better for sure. I do have Bless, and Bless is an amazing spell. So that will allow me to take the fight without too many issues here. I think firewalling like this is pretty efficient still. Yeah. I get to hit two guys for 143 damage, but with a cost of 60 mana. Um, yeah, pretty efficient damaging spell. Still on Luna. Mm. Yeah, okay, that's really good actually. Mm, and this kills, yeah. One man, I go KMS. Uh, yeah, we have energy jellies by now, that's awesome. We also have these pixies, we can go for Garden of Life for the Magic Lantern upgrade. And we are having a fantastic game here so far. Uh, our casting stats are on point as well. Hell yeah! We didn't take one of our config downs here in this week, but I think that's fully okay. So, but like, I will very very soon have to decide the, my playstyle here for the game already. And the few available playstyles are gonna be mainly... By the way, these give no XP, but they're still posing some danger, so no fight. And yeah, the main uh, thing to the side is going to be, um, obviously, the, um, uh, whether I play Phoenixes or not. Uh, that is probably the biggest decision to be made in this game. Expert Air already, that's awesome. Yeah, I used to not get Air Magician level ups at all. Uh, right now, it seems like I'm quite a bit lucky, eh? That's very cool. Wait, auto lost nothing here. I don't even know how, but I will take it. The shield here is like a pretty big deal, and we are having a fantastic game. Some knowledge, some fire magician, and now I can DD again. I might just be DDing on the road and walking forward. Which is, yeah, gonna be exactly what I wanna do. I want this. Oh, uh, there's gonna be like some more cast stats over here. We could still kind of try and do Luna things, but I think it's gonna be like probably not in my best interest. Why Luna not Monair? Because we're playing all random in this game. Wait, factory? How can I have a factory town? Wait, is factory middle? Or do we like bug out the generation and we have factory mid? Neutral mid. Oh. Okay, I see. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, do I go Phoenixes or not on Luna? Hmm, that's a big decision. I could just go Temple. That is definitely available to me. Still does an old dual S uh, setup. I do. It's an exception on, on neutral, I suppose. And it's a pretty big exception too. Uh, by that I mean that uh, neutral mid almost never happens. It's like uh, very, very rare. I do want the advanced earth here, obviously, so... Yeah, we're doing it like this. And yeah, it kind of sucks to lose this many pixies, but what can you do? What can you do? You, this is a bull that you have to buy playing comfy. Uh, pretty much every single time. So, what about building progression? Uh, it's gonna be like, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I do have, like, a turn of grace, and I'm gonna be using my grace turn for the mage guild. Oh, and what about this stand if I want to double build? No, I'm not double building though. Or maybe. I'm not gonna be like pushing hard for the double build, but I do want to have it be like at least somewhat of a consideration. And I think, yeah, I'm gonna be playing Phoenixes here. Phoenixes on Luna, that feels pretty weird. But also should be decently good. Mm -hmm. Brock is barely 400 points gamer, what do you expect? Wait, what? You can position them not in mid, just saying. 
Uh, you mean my pixies? The pixies will never not get reached by a firebird, as you can see. Or what were you talking about? Oh, I could have not done that. But that's because I was distracted by Chan. Mm. Fine. Whatever. Oh, pixies are not meant to be. I can go here and refresh as well. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Pretty good. And I might be able to reach the town. Yeah, I can. And I can even still come back. Oh, very nice. Good breathing, good skill tree progression. Only missing logistics at this moment. And, uh, is there a reason for me to stay inside of town, or do I just immediately move out? I think I might just immediately move out, to be honest. Like, I have mana for next turn, so what does it matter? Well, the few moves might matter, but still. Phoenixes with neutral mid. Oh, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, there we go. So now I can... Can you, like, send mana? Mm. No. It's gonna be the pretty clear response that you should have been expecting. <laughs> send mana. What the fuck, brother Ren? Ugh, moral deal. I mean, brother. Then I get to go for the next objective and for the next objective. So, uh, both our towns can quad build. Uh, no. Not quite. Um, only Confi can quadra build. Uh, all the rest are stuck with, um... I mean, it's still pretty good, but it's, uh... I mean, yeah, they're stuck with a triple build. Only Confi gets, like, an extra town of their own faction in, uh, this format. Mm, I should be a little bit careful about mana expenditure, but I think I'm doing okay. I don't know. Um, are we doing a good job here? I think we are. I mean, I'm building out, like, so much army. While also doing, like, a lot of other things too. Wait, I do not have a grace turn here anymore. But this one is closer. To being there. I think this is the way. Six mana, I can't afford that. That is amazing. Yeah, very beautiful. Then I'm gonna just get the Firebird to finish and, um, yeah, pick up the, uh, expert here. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think we're doing, like, really well in very many ways. And now... 
I can sell off a little bit of my gold in order to get the Altar of Fire here on this turn. <clears throat> on this turn. And I think I need to really start doing some gold objectives over here too. Do I have Curse? No, I don't have Curse. That is pretty unfortunate. Uh, curse would have been a pretty big deal. I currently have four dwellings flagged. There's five in total in the biome, right? So this is like the last one that I still haven't flagged. Still, I need like some gold objectives and I need them pretty badly right now. So like uh, Medusa stores, Naga Banks, and so on are going to be very right up my alley of like what I want to do. I don't have any pixies to lose, so the pixies are not as bad of, of a fight as it otherwise would be. Then yeah, we can gain some pixies, can split up the fibers to block off all of the sea witches from firing. Then I can do the, the stockpile and the treasure on this turn, and that becomes pretty good. It's like a super early build out. Mm, Phoenix is into two stacks. Oh wow, one mana, nice. One mana? One mana. Sorry, can hear you over my spell casting sounds. What else do you tell a guy, you know? Yes, Laga. A very good skill. Hmm. And yeah, we can return, buy out the Altar of Earth and the Altar of Earth. I'm definitely not double building. I have no idea why I'm even doing that. Wait, is there five or six dwellings in a biome anyway? I kind of forgot you know, the exact number. I think I have all of them, don't I? I'm also missing... No, I'm not missing Marketplace. Yeah, I only have like the full thing. I kind of go to Pixies, buy out a few more fishes because they're kind of a stack by this point. And uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to be farming up here by this point. Oh, we found some treasure, yo. Yeah. That is a lot of gold stuff. Oh, what's my pathing like? I guess I'll only be able to take one of these treasuries on this turn, but the Naga Bank is like a very big thing. Uh, the premises that I gained are also like kind of a big thing, so yeah. I think we're doing pretty well here. I need to build an Altar of Thought this turn. Yeah, I do, huh? I will actually take gold here, and I'll take the ore too. Uh, don't really see a reason not to, after all. And I definitely should have sh Well, no, maybe I shouldn't have taken water there. Water's gonna be, like, guaranteed by the time that X, uh, that I will get extra lager, exactly, actually. So, it turns out to be pretty nice. So, next time I already have to afford one of my pyres. Maybe I should just start developing the other towns instead. Uh, this place needs a mage guild, too. Yeah, honestly, I'm just single building on this week, and, uh... The sooner I resign the double build dreams, the better off I will be in many other ways. Oh, uh, let's see. I have this stockpile to deal. I have, uh... Hmm... I have this top. Well, I'm playing Luna, not Monair, and I'm almost getting, like, Monair-like results, okay? So, I'm doing amazing here. And, uh, by this point I almost can't afford what I need to afford, but, uh, I would really like another stockpile on this turn. Like, it would be amazing to be able to get that. 
700 moves to get this many moves. 600, yeah, that's pretty good by this point. And I can go past the Rally Flag as well, and yeah. I'm printed out enough moves to do this easily. And yeah, we just do this. So about this early on is uh, pretty amazing. We already have like a little decent setup here for this by now. And I cannot do this, and I cannot do that either. That's kind of sad. Mm, then I'm just picking up gold and the windmill. And yeah, it's a single build. But I didn't have to like sack my army into Utopia to gain this uh, single build and everything else like that, so it's like pretty cool, I think. I will also buy out... Uh... Wait, I do have a Mage Leo, right? I will need actually the fork next turn. Or maybe not. Uh, okay, so that's our non-existent. Will I be able to do this uh, Utopia? Not really. But then what else am I doing? Uh, this break is too hard. Hmm... I'm guaranteed to die. Uh... Memento Mori? Memento, I think, but anyway. Um, anyway. It's a maxi, I cannot do this. Nope. I cannot do this whatsoever. <laughs> well, then what else am I doing? I mean, I have to do some things, but like, what are the things? I think I'm going over here as one of the things that I'm doing. And I'm just going to be heading, like, further into this direction, just trying to look for a break that I can do. Reasonably. Because these fibers are not exactly the carry quite yet. As they would on a Monero. Uh, fire leaves are kind of decent, especially if I could upgrade them. 5-5, eh? The stats does still put out army. Um, I skip my... <coughs> I skip my Utopia on Expert Casting and Double Might. Fudge. So yeah, I get to do Stockpile, Dreadnoughts, and then take the town. Uh, pretty decent next turn setup, uh, at the very least. So wait, uh, wait, 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 uh, not no bueno. So I'm triple building. I have the mage guild over here. Actually, even like some... Yeah. So I only have to develop this down over here. Am I like on track? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I actually can still skip a turn of building and still be okay. That's good. Would you consider playing MTGO Turbo? Maybe. I seen people have been playing like these uh, mirror templates. Maybe I'm down to uh, learn those. Anyway, I don't have a lot of time timer, so I have to be pretty fast here. Uh, yep. Um, Expert Laga, now we're gonna be getting Water Magic on the next level up. Jesus, they are not split. Oh my god, I am split. Oh, that's pretty bad. Wait a moment. Oh, they are like pretty horribly slow, so I have that going for me, but like... Damn, bro. Playing these firebirds was the worst thing that I've ever done. Oh 
Oh, they couldn't do that. Holy sh No, 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 no! What did that auto do? Yo! Yo, how did I- it, There was like eight juggernauts left! What do you mean I lost on Firebird and literally everything else? I guess I'm reduced down to a Luna Gamer. Oh, uh, at least I have the Fire Orb, I guess. But like, Jesus! Um... Uh, the Vibrance? No. You're misreading uh, how I want to do the fight in the very first place. I need a few insurance, guys. Yes, uh, it is doable. <laughs> yeah, fly over this! I kinda want the sword. 458, that's pretty good. Four hundred fifty-eight. Um I can do this. I need to... Whoa! They can blind me? And I lost a turn... Yo! They're cracked! Okay, I'm doing so good though. Holy moly, I'm just so good at the game. It's insane. They cannot stand up to my mind. But like, what the hell was that? That was so unlucky. Okay, I have a Rust Dragon. I can do anything by now. Wait, I need to build this down specifically. Uh, I need to also build this. I need to also build. Uh... Oh, wait, that was 1 to 1, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They will want to run around and actually just kill themselves because of that. That's pretty hilarious, isn't it? Their own AI doomed them to failure. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Wait, I was not equipping this? Or was I? Wait, was I not? What the hell? Hmm. Mm, I have some good casting over here. Very nice. Uh huh. Um. Okay. So I need to build. I'm gonna be building immediately. Mm, this. This and this are my required builds here for the turn that I'm going to be going over with only th this little unit. Maybe not so little. Uh, not too hard. Mm, to be honest, this is just pretty easily file available. Oh, uh, yeah, that's really good. Uh, then I am missing this thing. And the way that I do this is very simple. Whew. They cannot get through the Rusty, and goodbye. I could actually stay out there on that, on that turn. Actually, I will do this. 
Uh, Diplo has less skill. Not for every aim. Mm, desired, but oh well. I'm fine for building stuff. I'm fine for everything. I have full eco. I have like really good stats. I can do like quite a few more things here by this point. I could go for like days of dragons. I could almost complete the elixir tier. Yeah, here and here. A uh, double altar of thought. Um, okay. I'm gonna be working on that immediately. I believe it should be fine. Uh, that's gonna be one of these bad boys. Oh. Well, I was lagging. Hell was that? Uh, the air, he gets the other desert down. Pretty cool. 40 Sharpies, what the hell? Can I do this fight? No, I can't. Um, Red Flame. Screw these Sharpies. No, I don't really want to do anything else. I just want to chill on my eco. This could have been the Sable Stone tier, but uh... Oh, by the way, there's a really easy ring of life over here tier. So I can complete the Elixir in a single turn if I want to, yeah, at any point. Mm, is this ever reaching? No, it's not. Um, okay, then that's good. Don't care for this trashy box. Don't care for this thing. Yeah, the Rusty is doing such a good job. What a good boy. Um, upgrade. Big time. I still have time, I still have time. Um... Uh, that's... What? Every single time I want to go into the stand, I get, I'm get lags. What is that supposed to be? They have a mage over here, ideal. So, I want to start my next week in Castellatus with a stable, so I want to be on Eco. Um, yeah. Could be going for fairies, could be going for, like, some other things still. Well, we'll see in time what we end up with here. Mm, he's going to the side zone there. Um, sure. We're gonna be making ourselves as strong as we possibly can as soon as we possibly can. I don't mind expending mana to make the fights just go faster. Oh, uh, friend, eh? Okay. Uh, our first friend here is gonna be like pretty awesome. So my one setup is gonna be like so, my two setup is gonna be like so. Um, yeah, boy, the good stuff. Uh, this over here. Um, oh, we need to actually build a fort here in this turn.
I have it lags so much every time I enter the underground town. What do you mean? Oh, is this a new feature? I haven't seen this before. Why am I lagging? Bravo. I want to talk to merchants and I want to get gems and I want to start going into every... I want this fight from on. Then uh, I want Arkham Mercs and I want gems. This is not a good idea. I know. I know it's not a good idea. Anyway, uh, our investment continues. We do not want to line bolt this Dian. He's pretty scary when he's line bolt in. Because uh, they can reflect if you uh, are interested on why. I'll get another Python, guys. It's okay. Are you kidding me? Mm, bolt, uh, this. Now this down lags. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm not over it at all. I'm so mad. But anyway. Oh, meter shower. No, I don't want to chain. Holy moly. Yo, this mid is kind of cracked, though. What the hell? Oh, uh, what kind of dragon could he have that would counter these fairies? I wonder. I wonder if there's even any. I could just go for more. But, like, of course, that's very resource intensive. Um, I have like a lot more sellable steel. I can sell a Python, a Kuras, an SOJ, and I can do all of that for gems so I can afford even more of this uh, Fairy Dragon Gaming thing. Like, I actually didn't go for the side zone entirely. Oh, he's actually in the bunker. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, I'm gonna be needing to sell for the sake of this and this. Uh-huh. I think that's all that I need. This town needs to be built out as the first priority. And then next up is we are going over to farm. The disguise work and they flee and they flee me because of that. Kappa Kipo. Never line and bolt, never line and bolt, never line and bolt. Just never use a line and bolt. Never line bolt, never line bolt. Anything else important to do? Not too much. It's kind of... Ah, nah. 
Every single time I don't get to go into a town that I want to go into, I'm going to be making those sounds. And it's going to be rightfully made, okay? These sounds are very rightfully made. We do not see him moving around. We have three of the libraries over here already as well. Uh, he's over there. I don't know, I feel like I will go for like the more temple play. Because in case of no temple, then I kind of win anyway, so... I should be looking out for which spells I cast, because uh, I could like really easily harm myself. This is quite a few of them. Lanable. Uh, of this town is most important. Ah! Sorry, it's necessary. <laughs> uh, boom. Uh, he is currently, oh, like literally right next to me. Uh, but a pretty pathetic army, I must say. So, what I'm gonna be doing instead of what I said I would be doing... Well, actually, I'm doing some of what I said as well. Uh, I'm gonna be getting this... This... Uh... This... And I'm gonna be going over into every single clunky down and pick up my firebird. Ah! Pain! 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 Why does it like so much? Can it just not lag less, please? What am I missing? I'm missing gold, actually. Jesus. Um... Oh, uh, 21k. Uh, there we go. And, uh, yeah, now we just return, equip properly, and, uh, yeah, we're good to go. I believe that I am hard winning here. Though he will have speed prio against me. I have to get clawed by Morton the, Goog uh, the Goggly Eyed Fuck. Um, okay. Let's see if we're gonna be getting clawed by Morton the Goggly Eyed Fuck. Oh, by the way, I don't have a Fire Tone, so I can't summon Fire at least, which is pretty bad, but. A Doobie with a Doobie. Mm hmm. I did do like a really good job in rallying my army here in time, I believe. So yeah, I have the elixir. Neutral morale minus three luck. He does also have the elixir. And 97 worms. It's actually pretty amazing. Um, uh, okay. He's not reducing my power at all. He does have like a high defense skill, so probably no SOJ. Mm-hmm. Artillery ballistics gig chad. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll sell subs if we only cast firewalls. No. How is this close? In which direction? If I had the fire tone, then it'd be pretty good. But, well, I don't. He will not be able to reach me. He does have plus 3 morale, though. His might is better than mine. My casting is quite a bit better. I might just want to shower these and uh, call it a day. Mm, no, maybe not. Oh, uh, let's not yet. I want to see what the fairies are casting, for example. Mm -hmm. Imagine having Fire Tome. Yes, Fire Tome would be really good here. But... Also, we got to have like these phoenixes because I sold the Fire Tome. Okay, so... Yeah. Lightning Bolt, that's super bad. Can you cast anything that is not pre He's pretending against one school of magic, what do you mean? And I think it's gonna be like the same. But maybe I can just like dispel and do it. Is Implosion not allowed? No. Implosion is not available in the format. Mm -hmm.
No, they don't change spells anymore, I think. They used to, but I don't think they do. Ooh, that's some um, good ballisticism. That's a word, trust me. Uh, okay, listen. Boom. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm crying! <laughs> oh! And it's Magic Girl right now! It's worse! It got worse! How did it get worse? Ah! I'm losing. Dude, how, what is your permanence? Way too early for a permanence. Way too early to... I really don't want to get horribly chained, so what do I do? I think I just stand around the field, do Rusty. And kill a trail gun. Ish. <laughs> he put, he, oh, that's a 1600 shower. That's not good. Uh, I think I will wait here in the stern. Oh, now he gets to do that. Anything useful? Frost ring! Not very useful, but whatever. He will be able to like consume the corpse and move immediately on top of me, but I think it's something that I just have to tank. It's so bad though. All my fibers are dead. I mean phoenixes. Oh, he chains! His one fiber is doing more! He <laughs> did double chain lightning! It's one... One fairy. Mm, over 11 fairy. SMH. Oh, by the way, he doesn't go in yet. That's good. Pew pew lol. Anyway, as long as he doesn't kill all of the phoenixes, uh, I'm gonna be enjoying, like, uh, last cast here. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm winning this, though. I'm winning this. There's no way I lose this. Not a chance, bro. I'm blocking off the corpse head here with the old guy. Wait, he still attacks twice? That's news to me. Why does he still attack twice? That's BS. Um. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? It's because my fairies are disgustingly useful, useless. Well, also because, uh, well, mm, if I had fire at least, I think I win every time. But without fire at least, I, I'm not so sure. Uh, he used the Rusties. Wait, he did? I mean, yeah, but like, I blocked the with the Fangarm, so he isn't able to do this. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be protecting air here, right now. So the air elementals are gonna be like, pretty hard to deal with for him. Lightning Bolt. Yes! Less! <laughs> it's okay. They're gonna cast something useful anytime now. <laughs> I'm outclassed. Hmm. <gasps> One fair over eleven fairies, yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. Can he attack here? I'm not sure if he can. No, he can't, right? This is not a standable hex. So my air elementals are doing a pretty good job in protecting the fairies. 1650, shower comes out. And I get the cast chain lightning. Right at the top of my... God. Uh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe just save the cast. That's decent, I suppose. If only... Hmm. Showers again, no? Huh? 
Can I get a meteor shower with my favorite dragons? Well, no. It might be like a little bit late anyway. I'm not really dealing with the worms at all. Oh, fireball, eh? So yeah, I'm wondering what the Olgoy boys are doing on this turn. Hmm. My Hypno is 1300. I could actually do a few things here with this by now. They ended up waiting, so I might just want to double connect onto them. He already used up his cast too, so that's pretty good. At some point the catapult will run out of things to shoot and uh, he will no longer have this super uh, efficiency. Though like, he will be able to like connect the old guys onto fairy dragons, but I think they're like expended most of their cast already, so it's like kind of whatever. Not to mention they were useless from the very in the very first place, so... Wait, no, but he does get to move first and then chain the bottom here. Mm, but then again, it's not really preventable. I already took this retaliation, so I may as well commit and do more, or not so much at all, but oh well. Well, I'll finally see if he has the air orb at the same time or not. I guess I do get to hit here. Oh, he doesn't have an air orb. Oh, that's a big, big swing back in my direction, actually. That means I can actually just spam summons and be kind of okay with it. Line and bolt. Can I get anything else? Anything useful, maybe? Or, or we don't do those. Hmm. But like, what if he? What if I play into a sacrifice here, though? That would be horrible. This guy can take the retail. This one over here, and this one over there. Yeah, that will... that will do. Yeah, but I'm playing into like a huge sacrifice. Well, no, but he has to like keep on dealing with the elementals that are coming out, so... It's like not easy for him. Is he gonna like start beating corpses here or something? I'm not sure what he's doing. There's no corpses in safe locations. He would always have to be like in range of my air elementals in order to do so, even. Mm-hmm. Lightning Bolt, still. Not amazing. I think I will actually save the caster, even. Hmm. He's setting up a chain, that doesn't really do too much. Did he hit a corpse there, by the way? I can't tell. No, he didn't. Okay. So I'll stop with the chain here. Um, I still am left with a decent chunk of air at least, so I might still be a okay. Comes in on the fairies. Oh, uh, fireball. It's something. I'll take it. Fairies are blocking. Are these guys gonna be just waiting? Hmm. Yeah, these guys are just waiting. Uh, these guys too. All I want to do is like set up for his chain to be bad. So, yeah, I'll do that. It's a pretty simple thing to do. I'm certainly not addressing any sort of uh, chain threats over here. Don't really mind this getting hit a little bit. 
He will be able to like double hit the new stock if he wants to, but I don't think it even deals that much damage, so it's kind of okay. Unlucky. What a stupid fine. I sh Oh, he actually just ate the corpse and that's it. Um, okay. So like he's setting up for some sort of a uh, power spike gear, I suppose. He doesn't want to chain yet, but now is the last turn that he can do so without me protecting. Uh, okay, he actually does allow this protection to go through. I'll use it. Now, next turn is going to be the sacrifice turn. Oh, this turn is going to be the sacrifice turn and kills off those. Huh? Goes with the uh, lesser sacrifice first. Mm hmm. My fairies are dead, but that's kind of okay. Counter Strike. Mm. We'll be going for like a buff stack situation. Oh, uh, he doesn't have water. Yeah, there's no way that he has water, so I can actually just uh, chill out here for like a little bit. I need to get rid of these ones, and then I just need to defend. Well, rather than defend, I want to sit on all of the important corpses, actually. That the Olgoys might be looking to eat up. This guy will defend, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Protection from Earth comes out. So now it's pretty hard for me to deal damage to him, even. I know that he's not dispellable. But, like, he will run out of mana first, and, um... I should be okay here. I can keep on summoning. I could actually blast through one of these guys. Actually, I just really want to get rid of the sacrifice threat. So I will chain onto those ones. As long as he doesn't get like a lot more Olgoys, then I think I'm kind of good to go. Okay, the Olgoys get up a corpse. And now what? So you just keep on summoning. Well, yes, but not yet. But I really think that I needed to deal with that sacrifice. Okay. Wait, what did he just sacrifice? The Rusties? Insane. Deals damage two times here. And yeah, we're just gonna be defending. He will need to compound chaining like all of the new stocks here. But, like, in turn, he's gonna be hurting himself too some, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, shield's up. Um, okay. I mean, I'm just looking to get him to be completely out of mana here. Hmm. Top right elemental is giving 2x uh, hit to elemental. Is it? I, can the course be consumed by the first X? Actually, I could move, like, a hex up and still be fine, yeah. Like this. Now, do I want to summon or do I want to protect? I think I'm just protecting, to be honest. Mm -hmm. These old guys will not be able to carry that hard, I think. They're not dealing enough damage. Mm -hmm. They will do a decent job, but... It's not good enough. If only he had fire, at least this wouldn't be close. Uh, bless turn? No, uh, it's not good enough. Shield? Mm, no, I think that another summon stack is gonna be like more valuable. Hmm. <laughs> what a game, though. <laughs> No matter how this ends, it's quite the game, though. Jesus. 
Hello, I've been watching your YouTube videos quite top, and I wanted to ask, where can I download Vietnam Diplo 2.2M? Uh, Vietnamese. Uh, yeah. Um, hey. Thanks uh, a lot, template is here. Okay. Kills only 52 here. Chains this one, naturally. And he's gonna be running out of mana sooner rather than later. Uh, he waits. Do I just want to bless up and pummel him down? Not really. Not yet. Too soon. I could gain speed prio, actually. Hmm. I know I will still be in survival mode. I think it's the right way to go. <clears throat> oh, right, he still has a, that cast, huh? That's okay. I still have these, like these 87 stacks, so uh, wandering out, doing stuff. It's kind of okay. This bullet is doing some work, eh? Anyway, we keep on defending. Uh, defend defending just gives me extra stats and it's pretty good. It's a good thing that I actually dispelled early, just to get it out of the way. While well, I still could afford it. Uh, I'm gonna look on my retail. Massage. Oh, I get to cast last on this turn. Wait, what? He didn't cast anything, right? Is he on mana preservation by this point? I could bolt this and his cast would just go away. Oh, but I'm not really gaining a lot of value like that either. I will force him to cast first. <laughs> oh, he actually misses the cast entirely. Cool stuff for me. Unlucky! Uh, can I not get an unlucky hit one? Ah! Anyway. Yes, we are on Oxygen Gamer here. Okay. Uh, he's being like very conservative with his mana by this point. I can't really do any reasonable damage here with any of the spells. Mm -hmm. Let's take it for ourselves. And now we have speed prior, that means we can actually summon and protect immediately. Uh, which is gonna be, like, very nice for me. He needs to win, you're just fine waiting. Uh, I'm not fine giving him free cast, so he can, like, spam even more buffs, prepare, double attacks, and... Keep on, uh, like, maybe bolting every single one of my new stacks. No, I need to be more proactive than just giving him free reign to do whatever he wants, but, you know? Just, uh... Pretty deep mis mystery. Hmm. Look at that heirs don't give corpses. Uh, yeah. It would be kind of problematic if they... If it was different.
These are the three found uh, founders that are sitting on the important, important corpses all the time. I wouldn't mind if he were to like use a cast or someone kill, the, kill off this dragon, to be honest. Oh, these guys are out of shots. I don't really need to deal with them, huh? This one can just chill too. I have a cast off of the Crystal Dragon, so I'll just use that. Oh, Moral. That's not good. Not good at all. Mm hmm. Then yeah, I'm gonna be blessing and shielding these, I think, by this point, and trying to get them to overcome the Olgoys, finally. Oh, he still does have mana. Like, he is losing Olgoys in there, which is good. Kill Ballista? It's out of shots, I don't need to. So yeah, he's being very, very conservative with his mana here by this point. Maybe I'll summon another protected stack and then start doing things otherwise. How is this still ongoing? Well, it's a pretty delicate fight. Oh, he was maybe looking for a corpse to get here. Is he gonna just eat it up? No, he doesn't. Just moves back. Hmm. Oh, uh, so at this point only I am moving, so I'm gonna be summoning again. So, what does he do now? Oh, wait. Alright, okay. Can I bait out the rest of his mana? I kinda can. <sighs> that thing perishes. That is, uh, pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, look at this. I will be using auto buzz by now, but I just wanted more Guinness to buff, you know? It's time to send the boys in and finish this. If he has water magic and he was keeping it for this moment, then I just applaud him, okay? I mean, I can do this all day, right? I can do it more, because I have more power. I'm good, bro. Okay. 
<laughs> We're just waiting. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm winning, so yeah. One hundred turn when? Maybe. Oh, he went then. Actually, I'm training pretty favorably by this point. Yeah, he sees that. Uh, GG. GG, his parents are playing. Hello, Mo. Uh, that fight, though. That fight shouldn't have been as close as it was. But... Dude, how was your one fairy more useful than my 11? It didn't have scouting, I see. Man should get, like, many, many worms, though. Dude, how the fuck? I flag the 10 dwells. I get this much fat uh, lasagna munching bitch with no scouting and 4 mana till 1 free 1. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> That's quite the description of Merton. Lamau. Six killer magic and uh, still was close. Well, I mean, if the fact that we won after that auto on the break where I lost everything is kind of amazing still. We have to use our Luna skills here in order to uh, adapt and Im improve and overcome. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of what I was able to do here. Uh, that was beautiful, that was amazing, and uh, yeah. Uh, next, my Mr. Point Pinata. He's currently, he was currently like top 20 ish, by the way. Uh, sure. Uh, we can just go next. Uh, oh, okay. He hosts them. And he hosted last, so he can host this. Uh, we can go. He, he left as well! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> he better have not hosted again. I swear to God. Okay, okay, he's joining. One sec, need reset. Uh, okay, I beer be a uh, few men. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll grab myself a coffee and uh, we can go next. I'll be right back. For now, we can behold my beautiful collection. Albeit a small one so far. <laughs> 